This video introduces how to configure SSL VPN on the RGWall 1600Z S series cloud managed firewalls to enable mobile office users to remotely access internal resources of enterprises. The following describes how to configure SSL VPN on a customer's network. The enterprise intranet is connected to the internet through a firewall, and the internet servers use IP addresses on the network segment 192.168.6.024. SSL VPN needs to be configured on the firewall so that mobile office users can securely access internet servers of the enterprise through SSL VPN. After user authentication domains are configured, a firewall implements the same policies for users in the same domain, such as login authentication and resource authorization, facilitating unified policy control. After an authentication domain is created, a user group with the same domain name is automatically created. You can create a user authentication domain as required. Alternatively, you can directly use the default authentication domain and the user group named default that is automatically created. This video introduces how to create an authentication domain. Log into the web UI and choose object user authentication authentication domain. Click create. Enter the authentication domain name. Set enabled state to enable. Toggle on SSL VPN access. After this function is enabled, you can view and select the current authentication domain when configuring an SSL VPN gateway. Select a user location. This video uses only local info as an example. That is, the username, password, and other identity information of the user are saved on the device and only the local user information is used for authentication. Toggle off WebAuth and AD Domain SSO. Keep the default settings for other parameters and click Save. Add SSL VPN accounts to authenticate access users based on their usernames and passwords. Choose Object User Authentication User Management. Select the created authentication domain. Click Add. You can add one or more users. This video introduces how to add a single user. Set the username. Set enabled state to enable. Select the parent user group SSL VPN underscore users. To perform SMS two-factor authentication on SSL VPN access users, configure users mobile numbers. SMS two-factor authentication is disabled in this example. Set the password for login authentication and confirm the password. Keep the default settings for other parameters and click Save. Repeat the preceding steps to create other SSL VPN users. Alternatively, you can create an SSL VPN user group to centrally manage SSL VPN users with similar attributes. Select the created authentication domain SSL VPN users. Click Create User Group. Configure the user group name. Select SSL VPN users as the parent group of the new user group. Click Save. Select the name of the new user group and click Add. Then add users in the user group. The procedure is similar to that for adding an SSL VPN user and is not described here. The device supports the creation of multiple virtual gateways, which are independent of each other. Users and resources can be configured on each virtual gateway to enable independent management, meeting remote access requirements of different service departments. Choose Network SSL VPN SSL VPN Gateway. Click Create to create an SSL VPN virtual gateway. Complete basic configurations. Configure the gateway name. Set the gateway type. This video uses exclusive as an example. Set the gateway address to 10.51.210.105 and the port number to 8443. Configure the maximum number of concurrent users who can log in to the virtual gateway. Keep the default settings for other parameters and click Next to configure login control. Select the user authentication domain SSLVPN underscore users. 
If another authentication is required as the secondary authentication for users who have passed password authentication, enable the SMS two-factor authentication to enhance the security of SSL VPN user authentication. The function is disabled in this example. If you want to use the authentication mode that requires a username, password, and hardware signature, toggle on hardware signature verification. The function is not enabled in this example. Keep the default settings for other parameters, click Next, and add resources. Configure the IP network segment for users so that users can establish tunnels with the virtual gateway using the assigned IP addresses. Select the tunnel mode. This video uses split tunnel as an example. That is, traffic used by users to access internet resources enters the SSL VPN tunnel, and other traffic is transmitted over the local connections. Specify whether to toggle on enable SSL VPN private line. After this function is enabled, only local communication traffic and the traffic of accessing authorized resources can enter the SSL VPN tunnel, and the internet access traffic of users cannot enter the tunnel. The function is disabled in this example. When tunnel mode is set to split tunnel, set a tunnel resource group. Click create. Enter the name of the resource group that can be provided by the tunnel. Click create. Enter the name of the resource that can be provided by the tunnel. Set resource type to subnet. Set resource to 192.168.6.024. Set protocol to any. The users can access all services provided by the IP network segment. Click confirm. Keep the default settings for other parameters and click next to bind resources. The device generates a policy default for authorizing the selected user or user group SSL VPN users. Click edit. Select the resource group that can be accessed by the specified user or user group. Click confirm. Click finish. A virtual gateway is created. The Internet Administrator provides the mobile office users with information required for logging into the SSL VPN gateway, including IP address 10.51.210.105 and port number 8443 of the firewall that provides the SSL VPN service. SSL VPN usernames and passwords configured on the local firewall. The mobile office users download and install the SSL VPN client software. Start the client. Enter the SSL VPN server address, username, and password. Click login to initiate an SSL VPN connection request. If the login is successful, the client icon changes from gray to red and the resource page is displayed on the UI homepage. Check whether the client can access the internet servers properly. Check SSL VPN connection monitoring information and SSL VPN connection logs on the web UI of the firewall. Thanks for watching this video.